And we studied uh, various uh, subjects and topics, including the um, international economy, politics, including the problems of uh, terrorism. And uh, as uh, one an example, uh, recently we have published a book uh, in Russia. This is the first book in Russia uh, which uh, uh, focused on Islamic State. Uh, preparing to this uh, panel, uh, I have uh, uh, pre, uh, pre write the uh, speech, uh, but uh, listening to my colleagues here, uh, both, of, uh, both of you, I decided a little bit change uh, my, uh, <coughs> uh, my speech now, and uh, what actually, how I uh, could interpret uh, what uh, my colleagues uh, just uh, said. I think they presented to us the art of countering the terrorism saying these words. But uh, I ask myself, what is the art of uh, countering terrorism? What is the art of uh, inventing or designing something? Or this is an art of combination something. And uh, what I could see in the real uh, situations, though, uh, the terrorists, they permanently inventing new and new methods and techniques attacking us. But unfortunately, we could not combine our efforts and our uh, interests, uh, our uh, efforts to, to, pre to uh, prevent terrorism and to counter them. So I believe in answering the question which I just raised, I believe that the art of countering terrorism, using these words, it's an art of inventing and this is art of combination. We need to invent something new just to combine our interests, to, to understand us, to, um, as it was said in, uh, in the uh, presentations uh, of my uh, Israel uh, uh, colleague, uh, it's uh, uh, design uh, the methods to identify uh, the terrorists, uh, to uh, <coughs> uh, uh, understand the uh, rationalities and to decode uh, their uh, messages. In the same time, it's a combination of the methods and technologies in our efforts, uh, again, to, uh, to understand the rationals and to, uh, to decoding, to, uh, uh, to identifying. And uh, the main problem in this is that uh, there are too many, in good terms, uh, artists, all of our artists, uh, but it's uh, the main uh, the difficult is to uh, to make uh, all artists working together because all of us individuals, all of us has our own interests, all of us has our own visions, and um, uh, it's very difficult. And everybody, I mean, the countries and uh, politicians, want to design their own view on the uh, this on these problems, but the. Uh, uh, International art of countering terrorism is just to find the way of combination all of this. And uh, to do this, uh, I think we need to first uh, uh, to see the terrorism as a broader phenomenon which involves a lot of uh, uh, <clears throat> the subjects like uh, religious, cultural, economic, political things which, uh, which we need to take into consideration. And uh, other things uh, we need to uh, listen in together and find the uh, rational way of uh, combination. Uh, why uh, Russia and uh, Russian experts uh, interested to learn more and uh, uh, study the terrorism uh, uh, issues? Uh, first of all, because the terrorist um, activity at, uh, of various groups like uh, Al-Qaeda or Islamic State and others is spreading to the regions located in the closest vicinity of Russian borders. And thus uh, presents an uh, immediate danger for Russia and its uh, neighbors. And this is not only danger for the terrorist attacks, but uh, in, um, in a broad sense, uh, a danger of uh, political destabilization in Russia's uh, partner countries and impediment for, to major economic, infrastructural, and integrational projects in greater Eurasia. Um, my uh, initial background uh, in economics, but not in, in politics, so I n should stress another thing which uh, make us uh, very interested in, in this problem. 
this region uh, has a great potential to establish a mutual beneficial cooperation, especially in, eco in economic fields, as well as the many other areas of our uh, uh, areas of interest of any countries. Uh, for now, it is not uh, so much cooperation, unfortunately, uh, but in terms of economics, the Indian Ocean regions accounts about 5% Russia total exports and 3.5% uh, of imports. Uh, it's not so much, uh, and Russia wants to be presented in these regions uh, um, uh, more actively. And uh, to do this, uh, of course, we need to, again, to find, the, uh, to follow the art of invention and combinations to invent the uh, new approaches to uh, cooperations with these countries and these regions and to combine our interests. And um, we are looking forward for cooperation and mutually uh, beneficial ties uh, uh, will strengthen. Two of the BRICS countries, India and South Africa, are located in uh, this region. And BRICS, uh, as a group of five major developing nations, is gaining importance uh, and influence uh, as a global um, factor. Likewise, Russia cooperations with CIRC uh, countries um, uh, is also on the rise, which uh, signifies Russia's growing aspirations for greater role in the regions. In these terms, terrorism and radicalism presents the biggest danger as impeding the integrational processes and cooperations with the uh, countries of the regions. If we look at the map, we can see a number of hotspots which uh, are on the terrorist line, um, territories lying close to uh, borders of our existing or potential partners. These spots disconnect our countries in all means. Uh, trade and transport routes, uh, uh, cultural um, uh, <coughs> relations, uh, innovations, uh, techniques, and many other uh, ties in various, um, uh, various areas. There is no any mean uh, to bypass such uh, hotspots. There are probabilities they, they will and could be grow in the future. And we have only one choice, uh, jointly all together, to try to cool them down, just to, to having the hands, uh, enhance diversify approach and uh, joint uh, efforts. Also, it should be noted that uh, sometimes uh, terrorist cells are created uh, by outside forces in order to achieve temporarily local results, but later became acting on their own, often uh, backfiring against their creators. Thus, uh, the tendency is that of local conflicts and local uh, outbursts of terrorism and violence um, acquire, uh, acquiring a global nature. Our future benefits are in the cooperations, but not are in the shadowed by a terrorist rivalry. Uh, any unil uh, unilateral efforts of any country to uh, support radical forces uh, at the at territory or its neighbor in order to gain uh, unilateral advantages for itself would be a great mistake. What is uh, drastically needed today is a real uh, reconciliation and consolidation of all healthy forces in areas where uh, hotspots is emerged. Win-win cooperation, uh, despite the existing differences and rifts, is uh, the only way to guarantee uh, peace and stability in all countries um, in the region. Uh, economic interest uh, should uh, prevail. Uh, military victory is a desirable solution. It is uh, it's very hard and important step, but it's only half of the way. It is not enough for weeping away for the terrorist threat and in no way means uh, eradications of terrorist ideas and terrorist practices. In fact, global terrorism has a network structure and its cells can move relatively free, freely across the globe and so face quite, um, uh, um, quite uh, unexpectedly in, uh, in any regions. Military defeat may uh, lead to uh, dispersion, of such, uh, dispersion of such cells, and it, uh, it is hard to predict where they will appear after being uh, whipped away from, for example, uh, any country of the, of the regions. And we, could, we, we know the uh, <coughs> examples of that. Therefore, as I already said, and as I started, uh, I think this is a joint effort to create the international 
art of uh, countering uh, terrorism, and uh, the, uh, because it's a complex, um, uh, uh, should be complex approach, and uh, we need uh, uh, recultivate the areas previously prone to terrorism altogether. And uh, that involves economic resurgence, educations, and other political and humanitarian uh, measures in order to prevent new radicalizations anywhere. Thank you very much.